Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your April 2017 reading. So for this reading, as usual, we're using the Smithwaite Tarot Deck Centennial Edition for your main reading. We also have your Angel Answers Oracle cards as advice at the end of the reading. And also, just as an additional reading, we've got three cards from the Bluebird Lenormand deck, okay? These are very, very good. So we're going to use those just three cards from the top just to give any additional insights into the month. So let's make a start. Universe Root, what's coming in for the Zodiac sign of Taurus? Show me Taurus in the month of April 2017. Show me Taurus. What's coming in for Taurus? Show me what's coming in for Taurus in the month of April 2017. Show me what's coming in for Taurus. What's coming in for Taurus in the month of April 2017? Show me. Okay, so... Let's uh, split the deck into three, like so. Collect it back up, and we're going to just start putting the cards down. So I feel that there is, you know, the you now position, external factor shows an opportunity that's coming to you guys because you've got the Ace of Pentacles showing here. It could be money, it could be love, whatever it is that it means for you. As I say with my readings, Taurus, always try and apply whatever I'm saying to your situation because the tower is multifaceted, okay? That's what it is. So it doesn't always mean the one thing, especially within a general reading. It really doesn't. So this could be money, it could be love, it could be, this can be, you know, you know, something is coming to you uh, materially wise. It can be sort of, you know, the opening up of a long term situation. It can also be that you now shows with the Eyes of Pentacles, it means that you're stepping into a new reality. So you're starting to realize something, and it's almost like it's fresh, it's new. For the first time, you're realizing something. As a result of that, we've got the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords can say that maybe in the present, as a result of this opportunity, you have a decision to make with the Ace of Swords. can go either way. It can mean that you sever something. It can mean that you communicate about it with the Ace of Swords. Because in the distant past, it might be that you've been struggling for a long time to do something. This Ace of Swords can also mean, whoa, brilliant, finally breakthrough. So it could mean that there is an opportunity coming to you, the external factors. In the present, you may have had an, uh, a breakthrough with the Ace of Swords, uh, Taurus. I hope I've not been calling you Sagittarius. Jeez, my brain sometimes. I've been working on the readings all day, so that's probably why. So opportunity Taurus might be coming to you. You may, as a result of that, feel a breakthrough in the month of April 2017. It could be because in the distant past you've been struggling for a long time to get to this particular position with that Ten of Wands. And as a result of that, we've got the Knight of Cups. This is the proposal card. The best case scenario in the month of uh, April 2017, uh, Taurus, in terms, of the four, uh, in terms of the first two weeks, will be the Four of Pentacles. This can be you guys, though. This can be either whereby you're holding your current position, you're unwilling to make a bold move, or you're, you know, you're unwilling to come out of, um, uh, uh, out of a comfort zone, potentially. It can mean that you stay where you are. But it can also mean, well, there is a uh, potential to start building that's something that's quite secure around this card showing here. But looking at the energy of the cards, it's interesting that this Four of Pentacles would show up as the best case scenario for this situation. Because if this is a breakthrough card, well, then why would you need or feel the need to hold back with that Four of Pentacles? That's the only thing I would say here. It could be that an opportunity has come to you guys. There is the need to make some form of a decision here. The distant past shows that there might have been some form of struggles around you with this Ten of Wands, dealing with many things. In which, as a result of that, you might have been offered some help in April with the uh, Knight of Cups. However... The Four of Pentacles, it would make more sense to say, maybe you refuse this help because you've got the Four of Pentacles here. And this is somebody who often refuses. I can do it on my own. I don't need any help. You know, I need to protect my own interests. I don't want to let anybody in. That's what that Four of Pentacles can be. 
your challenge is the hermit so you don't need to do things on your own all the time Taurus the hermit often represents somebody who is kind of a little bit uh, withdrawn so it might be that some of you guys are feeling a bit withdrawn in the month of April 2017 what's coming in for you guys in the second two weeks is the devil and I feel that this is something of a temptation that comes to you but it's almost like you restrict yourself or you hold back because we've got the eight of swords what you're going to be experiencing Either that your mental restrictions aren't allowing for you to accept something new that's coming in here. I feel that you won't accept something here. You either won't accept help or you're not accepting. It's almost like with the Four of Pentacles being the best case scenario. You're saying, I'm okay where I am. Okay? And therefore, it could be that because there's temptation, the devil that comes in, it might be that Eight of Swords says, well, I'm restricted. I can't do this. I don't want to go for it. So I think it's a bad idea. Your hopes will be the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is really to take a pause on a situation. But I feel that your lack of inclination to go for something that is offered to you. And I feel that, you know, this Ace of Pentacles is the very same thing as this Devil energy here. Uh, Taurus. I feel it's the same energy. Because I feel that this is the offer that comes to you guys in the external factors. But with the Ace of Swords, there is the need mental clarity probably around this because I feel that you've been struggling maybe with many things with that ten of wands potentially somebody's helping you out of a situation but I feel that you're very resistant to that with the uh, four of pentacles the offer is here it's still on the table it's very tempting with the devil but your mind with the eight of swords says I can't really get out of the idea that this is a bad idea for me to go for because with the Four of Swords, what you'll be hoping for is possibly a little bit more time to contemplate this. But I feel that your resistance to doing something, Taurus, in the month of April could lead to death, the ending of the situation here. So I feel that something comes in. I don't know whether it's good or bad, really, but for some reason, you guys don't think it's such a good idea. And because you seem to procrastinate and procrastinate, the uh, opportunity seems to be gone. I feel, uh, Taurus, in the month of April 2017. Let's have a look at what the other cards are saying alongside this. We're going to get some pairing cards with this. Let's get the Ace of Pentacles first. Yeah, I feel it's an opportunity probably for some new work because you've got the Ace of Pentacles showing there, uh, Taurus. However, as a result of that, in the present, we've got the Ace of Swords and... Well, it's good, because it seems that as a result of that, communication leads to victory. You've got the Six of Wands, so it's like something that you actually take. Because in the distant past, you've got the Ten of Wands and... It seems that you were rejecting. Ten of Wands often shows that when somebody's rejecting something, when they're hiding from something or when they're refuting something. It could be that you rejected an opportunity here with the Ace of Cups. And as a result of that, you've got the Knight of Cups and Justice. Well, this often leads to completion with the Justice card. Okay, sometimes what we've offered, maybe there are great rewards with this, with the Justice card, with what's being offered. Okay, you've resisted this opportunity, but as a result of that, maybe what was offered could have led to justice or completion or something really, really good. It looks to me you're offered something. Could be new work. And in the present, it might be that you've said yes. Because you've got this Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. Ace of Swords can mean certainty. It can mean a breakthrough has led to something quite positive, I feel, with the Six of Wands energy here. Or it could mean that communication uh, means that you're proceeding further with this so it could be I feel that you're offered something here and I feel that as a result of that you might be offered a new job or new work because we've got two money cards here <clears throat> an offer card of money and this can be new work with the eight of pentacles so I feel that you're offered something like new work it seems that you've had communication around this in the present in April 2017 Taurus and everything is progressing quite lovely with the six of wands but it seems to me that the root issue is, is that you don't really want this opportunity with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of uh, Cups energy. 
because I see the whenever I see the ten of wands, this is somebody who is hiding from this opportunity. So even though you seem to say preliminarily wise, yes, I'm interested, and things seem to be progressing, I feel underneath everything you're saying no. And as a result of that, it might be that with the Knight of Cups and Justice, it might be that you need to make your mind up, potentially, on this offer. Or an offer could lead to something really rather quite good with the Justice card. A reward. You're getting rewards. There's, there's a good thing happening here. Your challenge is that Hermit. Why is the challenge the Hermit? I feel that you've been withdrawn from something for quite a while and this is why it's leading to frustration with that Five of Wands. It could also be that if you've been in anything before, Taurus, and you've had lots of drama, maybe you're withdrawing from drama because the uh, Hermit means to withdraw and the Five of Wands can be in drama. But also it can mean that some of you guys, because you've been withdrawn from doing something for such a long time, maybe where this, this is where the confusion comes in. And therefore, the best case scenario for the first two weeks in uh, April 2017, Taurus, is the Four of Pentacles and, yeah, I don't think you want something. You've got this, uh, the Resistance cards. Both cards represent somebody who's resisting. Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. I feel that you almost feel like, well, I'm just happy as I am. I don't really want to go for this thing. You seem to say yes to something, but deep down inside, you're not so sure, I feel. Coming into the immediate future is the devil, and well, we've got it with the five of cups, so it could be that this tempting offer, um, Possibly this tempting offer would require, with that Five of Cups, would require you to make some form of a sacrifice, potentially. Which is why what you'll experience coming in... ...is the Eight of Swords and... You know, for some of you guys, it might be that you're, you know, it could be that you're in, you work for yourselves. Maybe there's an offer that comes in for, a, you know, a different job or a job working for someone else. Because you seem to be frustrated by the emperor. You're frustrated by the rules and regulations. And the, you know, the, um, when you get an emperor, this is often to do with rules and regulations. And it's to do with uh, fairly conventional things. So it might be that you're frustrated by maybe the conventions that would be put on you if you accepted this sort of thing. Whatever this is, it might be a new job though, because you've got this uh, Ace of Pentacles and that Eight of Pentacles. For me, that's almost like being offered a new job. You seem to have said yes, or you're interested. The Ace of Swords is communication. Maybe it's, you know, communication to launch something here. So it seems to be yes, like something is progressing well. But underlying all of this is you are kind of rejecting this opportunity with that Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And maybe that's because as a result of that, the Knight of Cups accepting this opportunity would lead to having to wrap something else up maybe with that Justice card. And also your challenge is, maybe you've been withdrawn from a certain area within your life and maybe this is causing the confusion or frustration or it could be that you removed yourself from some sort of drama and you really don't want to go back into that, Leo. So the best case scenario in the first two weeks is you guys, I feel that you hold back because you don't really want this situation with the Four of Cups. The immediate future shows the devil and that is a card about restrictions. It's also a card that... Um, I feel that it's almost like in the immediate future, you see this situation as, you know, the sadness with the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is about loss of friendships. Uh, it's about a loss of desire. So I feel that with this, um, this, this tempting offer that comes in for you, I feel that there is a loss of some form of desire or happiness around it, or maybe there's some form of a sacrifice here with these two cards. In which what you'd experience is kind of, I feel that you've almost got some ideas that are very, very set with you with that Eight of Swords. And it could be around conventional things, could be around if you're, you know, so you work for yourself, but then having to go and work for other people. It might be that you 
Usually when you get an Eight of Swords, it's good to see what this person's frustrated by. And the second card should show it. So there's frustrations around an Emperor. Could also be potentially, some of you guys are looking after somebody potentially. Maybe because Emperor can be an old geezer. So some of you guys, it might be that you can't do something because you're looking after somebody else. Maybe that Eight of Swords shows frustration with somebody within the family that you're taking care of. But it could also be that there's frustration here. Because it could be that, you know, if you were to accept this opportunity it would mean having to adhere to the laws and conventions of somebody else rather than your own therefore your hopes will be the four of swords and the eight of wands I think the sort of thing this is you know the hopes are to be able to kind of take a break or to contemplate many things for example, or, you know, much more than what's on offer. So I feel that, you you know, your hopes would be to look at different things and not just the one thing that's coming towards you, but to kind of keep your options open, I feel, with those two cards. And the outcome shows death and... Yeah, well, it's good. Because you, though you've got, an, you know, a situation that doesn't go through... You know, I think it brings you real joy and happiness. I feel that you're uh, quite clear about a situation that you don't want to occur here. I feel that you said yes to something in the month of April 2017, um, Taurus, but I don't feel your heart's in it. It doesn't look like your heart's in it at all to me. There's something that comes in, looks quite good, but there, are, there might be external situations that are, or external factors that are keeping you from accepting a proposal here. It might simply be that your heart isn't in it. Um, you know, this devil coming in, it could be that there is pressure maybe. The devil can also be a card that shows that somebody's putting pressure on you. So it might be that there's, the devil is putting pressure on you and this is what's causing the sadness or upset because what you've experienced is frustration. And the devil and cards like the devil and the emperor that can be very, very similar, controlling figures. So it might be that you're frustrated at being controlled by this particular person who seems to want to offer you something. You seem to say yes at first, but then it's like, oh, you know what, I don't really want this. It doesn't feel right to me. And therefore, I feel that your hopes are just really to keep your options open with those two cards there. And the outcome shows there's death and ending. Could be an ending to... I don't think it's an ending to a family situation. I feel that it's, um, you know, death of the Ten of Cups, what do they have in common? Well, it's completion. It's the ending of a situation here. But I feel if there's an ending here where you decide not to do something, I feel that you're going to be feeling great joy with that Ten of Cups energy, okay? Because I feel that making up your mind to end something here or not to go ahead with it is going to bring you in great joy. Okay, and I feel that you're going to be really looking to venture towards new paths and new journeys and new ideas with the two of wands and new partnerships. So I feel that there is something here that shows up. Okay, we'll go through a reading one more time. Um, Taurus, uh, seems to me Ace of Pentacles is an offer when that comes in. Uh, it could be for some new work with the Eight of Pentacles. You seem to have some communication and everything seems to be progressing with that Six of Wands. But the root issue for you is that you are struggling. And I feel that this is with it. So you can see the hand is held out to this person, but they don't want to see it. They don't want to accept it. So I feel that you're struggling to accept this, really, because as a result of that, uh, it might be that if the acceptance of this offer with the Knight of Pentacles would mean that you'd have to wrap up a certain cycle within your life. And it might be that you've been through a period, Taurus, of being so detached with something here, so withdrawn from something here, that it might be leading to some frustration here, or it might be that you've withdrawn yourself from the drama or the business of something within your life, and you don't really want to go back into it. Therefore, I feel that you kind of hold back, okay, because your heart's not in this thing with the Four of Cups. It might be in the immediate future some pressure is put on you from the devil to make a choice, a decision here, and it might be that it's making you feel a little bit down. It might also mean that there are certain sacrifices you would need to make. But I feel that this frustrates you. Because I feel that you almost feel, uh, Taurus, that your power is being taken away from you, from this emperor. And therefore, your hopes, I feel, will be to keep your options open, perhaps, with this four of wands, four of swords and eight of wands. And therefore, in the outcome, I feel that you put an end to this situation. 
I feel that you're very joyous around that anyway as you start to look at different paths that make you feel more comfortable. Very interesting reading, Taurus. Let's get a look at what your... Um, let's have a look at what your uh, angel reading says. Universe Spirit, show me. What is the... What is the advice that you have for Taurus in the month of April 2017? What is the advice that you have for Taurus? Oh, that just fell out. Let's get it. Oh, it's telling you to reconsider. That just jumped out. It's telling you to reconsider something. So there's something you don't want to do, but it's telling you you should reconsider it in the month of uh, April 2017. There's something that you don't want to do here, Taurus. But these cards are saying you've got to reconsider that decision that you're making. Okay? Because it could be that there is an ending here. You decide not to go for something because you're happy with the Ten of Cups. And you're happy with the decision you make with that Two of Wands. But it's telling you, it's clearly saying, it jumped out as well, I had to take it. It's clearly saying reconsider this, this option that comes in, reconsider it. Let's have a look at why he says reconsider. There is an element of your plan that should be reevaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. And we saw the proposal here. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and that Ace of Pentacles. Uh, share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback. Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. A better time will come or you'll realise that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. That's interesting. On the one hand, it's telling you to reconsider. But the way that I read these cards was that you had considered something, but it wasn't for you. Okay. Now, if I just looked at that card on its own, it would have been telling you to reconsider the situation. But I feel that this is almost affirming because through the words of the book and what it's saying is, is it's not the time to make a change. So I feel that this is really actually backing something up that you're doing in April. I feel it's saying that if you are considering this thing, you need to reconsider it, perhaps. Okay, because it's not the time to make that particular change going forward. And this can also show that there is, I feel, a different path that would be right for you, rather than going in the path that's being offered. Okay, so I feel that this is why, when I read the booklet, it seemed to be kind of confirming and affirming what was being said in this, um, in this reading. All right. Okay, let's get your Lenormand three card reading and see what the Lenormand is saying. Any additional information that this card, the cards might be saying for you, uh, Taurus, in the month of, whoops, in the month of April 2017. Okay. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have in three cards from the top of the deck? Three cards from the top of the deck. What is the advice that you have for Taurus? Show me the advice that you have for Taurus in the month of um, April 2017. What is the advice that you have for Taurus? Show me the advice that you have for Taurus in the month of April 2017. Three cards from the top of the deck, show me. Okay, it's telling you in the month of April that a meeting, you've got the garden, and the garden often means a meeting, public event, where you're speaking to others. You've got the fish, which means abundance and money, and the anchor means it's permanent and stable. So it is saying that a meeting in April could bring money, the fish, and stability with the anchor. Okay, that's the additional thing. So I don't know whether it's this thing that you're refuting or whether it's something else, might be another path you're going on. But there's a meeting coming up for you guys in April, and it could mean it brings money that is very, very abundant for you, okay? Um, however, it's saying that there is some stress around a burden that keeps repeating itself to you, because you've got the uh, mice, the cross, and the birchwood. So the mice is about stress, something that's eating away at you. It might be causing a burden, and it's continuously repeating itself. It's continuously causing strife with the birch rod. I'll just get three other cards. Mm. 
when we've got the moon card here, and this means desires, creativity, love. You've got the flowers, the bouquet. Okay? Uh, this can mean an invitation. And then you've got the house. This can just simply mean a building. So I feel that there could be, you know, if there's something creative that you do, it might be that you're invited to do something with that. Could be in a public domain, maybe with the house, or it could mean that your creativity and joy lie within your home, maybe within the house, something like that. Interesting reading. It is saying that there is a meeting concerning money that could bring something permanent to you in April. But it also is saying that there is a situation in your life that is causing you stress and unhappiness. Okay, and it's a repeating thing. All right, so maybe you need to at some point, I don't know whether it's with this opportunity, it might be with something else. You may need to kind of look at invitations and going out there and getting yourself out there maybe. With, if you've got any kind of creative stuff going on with the moon card, maybe there's going to be an invitation around that. to Maybe to display that to others in a house or something like that. But, you know, it's saying, you know, get yourself out there, Taurus. If you've got something you want to do that you can earn money from, then, you know, if there's something that comes to you and you don't really want to do it, don't do it. But also make sure that you get yourself out there, especially if you're looking to earn money. And right now, what you're doing is not the right thing for you. Okay? But I do feel that there is an opportunity coming to you guys. Whether you take it or not, it's completely down to you. Very interesting reading. I'd like to say thank you for your time, Taurus. You've got your 21 card Lenormand reading, which will be sitting directly next door to this one. For between April and September 2017. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time, my darlings. Take care.